we do have to talk about 2022 and what we want to see yeah. in CircuitPython. So um, I thought I'd start this week. So this is what I would like in CircuitPython 2022. Okay. I would like to be able to plug in an HDMI cable into a CircuitPython board, and that'll be the output from the board, and then plug it into kind of like what I'm doing now. Like right now there's a camera plugged in. We have an overhead over here. What I would like to be able to do is switch over to that video feed and have it do all sorts of video effects. And by video effects, I mean like neat patterns and be able to do like video mixing with it. Um, maybe I would pump the audio through it and maybe there would be a line going across the screen and when the audio would be picked up from the video board, it would start to make, you know, like a little thing, like a visualizer. Yeah. But I want it to, to, to be live in real time and I want to be able to overlay that on things like this. So I'm currently buying a few of these like video synths and there's software ones that are hard to use and expensive and you need like a M1 Pro processor. And then there's some that are like, they're kind of okay, they're kits and they're DIY ones. Um, some of them use a Raspberry Pi, some of them do some other things. But I really want one that's CircuitPython based. So CircuitPython with HDMI out support with scriptable things that you can do. Almost like, um, you know, like processing, you can kind of do some neat stuff with graphics. Something like you turn a knob and it makes the display go weird and then you would overlay that onto OBS or something like that just to do like live art stuff. I thought that would be kind of neat, like a video toy. So that's my CircuitPython that's 2022. That's so 90s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's my request. Okay. 